Hello everyone, Atrim and John here, and oh, recall. <laughs> also, uh, Jit, also Strand, also Bitter Blossom. Right, I was looking at the Bitter Blossom going, oh, Bitter Blossom. Oh, Jit and Bitter Blossom are just so good together, but recall. <laughs> recall. I like drawing cards. Don't you like drawing cards, John? You always ask me this question. The answer is always no. Why not? I'd rather kill them. But drawing cards can kill them. Yes, you can duck them with recall. That's true. See? Um, well, recall can be splashed in any deck. So what are we looking at here? Tundra? Grim Monolith? Is Grim Monolith actually that good? It's fine. Basalt Monolith's a lot better. Yeah. Tundra is fine. I don't mind Tundra. What about Mind Slaver? That tends to wheel. Maybe not out of this pack, but... We could try for the Mind Slaver deck. I think Tundra's better. Okay, I'm fine Gee, taking the Tundra. Fixing is good. Um, Grave Titan's pretty solid. Yeah. We'll probably get, like, Gutter Snipe on the wheel. Yeah, sure, if we want Gutter Snipe on the wheel for some reason. No one wants Gutter Snipe. Okay, but Basalt Monolith is actually quite good. What about Tinker, though? What about it? We could be the Tinker deck. We don't even know for blue. We have Ancestral Recall! Of course we have blue! I don't think Tinker is that good. But if you pick it up early, you can make it that good. We could. But Monolith, Monolith goes in every deck. If you want Tinker, let's take Tinker. You you really want Monolith? I think so. You think so? Monolith is really good. Tinker could be insane. Okay, let's take Tinker then. I'm going to take the Tinker. Okay. And make you sad. I think that pick was really bad. Well, here's Warren Power Stone, <laughs> which goes with Tinker. We could have had we could have had a uh, Monolith Monolith Power Stone with the Insano deck. True. True. I think we still pick up Power Stone. Yeah, Power Stone's good. Uh, Johnny Magic? Sure. What, what's better here? Venser could be better. Sure, I'm always a fan of picking up Venser, but he doesn't do anything in this deck. Not yet. He is early enough that, you know, we will find stuff to make him do stuff. I think Venser's probably the pick. Alright. Uh, hmm. I like a fetch here. I also sure. like Verdict. Yeah, these are both fine. Which is better, fetch or Verdict? Well, probably fetch. Verdict's not bad, though. Verdict is not bad. Of all the Wrath effects, it's definitely the best Wrath effect. Mm -hmm. I'd argue that Damnation is the best. That's because it doesn't use blue. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we take the flats, though. Okay. I think it's the safer pick. So now do we grab Tezzeret? Or sure. Academy Ruins, seeing if Mindslaver wheels? I don't think Mindslaver is going to wheel out of that pack. It was too weak. But Tezzeret, if we're already playing Tinker, right, might be something. Seems fine. Yeah. Factory, then? Yeah, works with Tinker. Or Mom. But I think Factory is better because, as you said, works with Tinker. Mm -hmm. Who knows what we're doing here? We don't even know what we're doing. Yay! Isn't that the best kind of magic? No. Oh. This, I feel like we could have taken Monolith, Monolith, Power Stone and had just an absurd deck. What would and now we we're just doing? dinking around. What would we have done with all that mana? <laughs> and then we had Tezzeret. We would have made them all five times. I suppose. I and then suppose. Unblockable. With oh, how about Bitter Blossom on the wheel? Sure. I like that card. I think it's better in Flooded Strand. Bitter Blossom is dumb. Yeah, Bitter Blossom is a dumb card. Although that Flooded Strand, that's a really late Flooded Strand. 
Well, Caracas could be something. Wall of Omens with Venser is cute. Wall of Omens with Venser is pretty cute. Caracas could be something. Uh, Delver doesn't really do anything. Diabolic Edict's kind of meh. Mm -hmm. Although there are so few creatures in cube that Diabolic Edict's not bad, per se. It's pretty meh. Caracas? Sure. Wall? I like Wall, actually. Cut the Wall. Wall Venser is actually a thing. Cloud Goat Ranger Venser is a thing. Enlightened Tutor fetches Bitter Blossom, though. But it's only black card we have. True. Cloud Goat is just the safest pick here. I think. It's quite strong. It works well with Fencer. Blink works well with Fencer and Wall. Sure, whatever. Just say no to Wildfire. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably pretty good against us. Port. Oh sure. Or we could take Birthing Pod. Port's fine if we're just straight blue white. Right. But we're not playing pod. So right. it's unlikely we play port. But yeah, you know. that makes sense. Huh. Yeah, we could have definitely had a lot more mana available, I agree, but I think this is still turning out fine. Well, here's a battle sphere battle to do tinker stuff. Battle sphere is a good tinker into card. I really like Mox Diamond too. I do like Mox Diamond because it basically counts as a... Well, it doesn't actually get to count as a land because it takes a land from you. But. It, yeah, it's just fast you know, fast mana. If you get the draw stuff, it works better with that. Right now we have no draw. Well, we have Recall, but yeah. Um, which oh, is, yeah, Recall, sure. Which is better? Probably Battle Sphere. I could play the Tinker. Yeah. Regardless. I, think, I think we go with Battle Sphere here. Um... So do we want Signet then? Maybe. Helps with the color. Awesome. Other options, Lotus. Mm -hmm. And not That's really it. any of this. So I think we take the Signet here. Yep. Hmm. Fencer and Battle Sphere works. Yes, Momentary blink and Battle Sphere. For some reason we need to Fencer our Battle Sphere. Sometimes you do. Like, you tinker it up, and they have an answer for it, and you want to win. How about a Demir Signet here? Yeah. I could also see Sphinx of the Steel Wind. I like the Abyss, too. <laughs> the Abyss will wheel. We know this for a fact. It wheels every <laughs> single cube. Every single cube. I would be shocked if it doesn't wheel. Some of the Sphinx. So I think... Is I, it... Soren, actually? Is it Soren, or is it just a mere Signet? That's probably just Signet. Let's take the Signet, and I think one of these three is going to wheel. Yeah, we'll play all of those. That comes around. How about Lodestone Bowl? Sure. Seems like a dick move card. <laughs> it definitely is. Yeah. Turn three, Lodestone is always annoying. Brainstorm seems good. Yeah, Brainstorm's pretty great. We even have a fetch land. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ashia could be interesting. Ashia could be interesting, or Sword of Fire and Ice plus Bitter Blossom seems really good. Sure. Just saying. Seems okay. Having a constantly having a creature to whip it to. Yeah, if we had a Mox, maybe the Ashia's better. We don't. We could still just take Ashiok. The sword doesn't do that much. We only have four guys. Yeah, maybe let's just take... And one of them's a wall. Yeah. <laughs> I think we take Ashiok. Yeah, wall into Ashiok. That's our farm. Yeah, Ashiok, put a body in front of it. Cause... I like that we have uh, the two black signets. Um, do we take Banishing Light? Ultimate Price? Maybe Forge Master? Forge Master's pretty solid. Could be. Tinker on a stick. Sure. Bad Tinker on a stick. But still Bad Tinkery. Tinkery on a stick. Okay, Tinkery on a stick. Tinkery on a stick. Uh, Jalapeno on a stick. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So the bounce? <laughs> People will know what I was referencing. I have no idea what you're talking about. But Manowar... Momentary blink. Ooh, momentary blink 
Fiend Hunter. Yes, you go Fiend Hunter, trigger on the stack, momentary blink it, boing, exile the creature permanently, and get another creature under Fiend Hunter. But it is double white. Manowar is, does almost the same thing, and it's just blue. Which is better? I think Manowar. Manowar just for mana issues. Hmm. Random sideboard card. Stronghold? I don't think it's that great. It brings back Battlesphere if it dies. Is it better than War Priest? Sideboard card's fine. Yeah. I don't think the Stronghold's doing much. Okay. Disposable we'll play Secure the Lease. And. Okay. I'm. Color me impressed. Someone else knows the power of Abyss. Like, yeah. I think we should have taken the Abyss. Over. But, I think the Signet was the right call still. Maybe. Uh, Sphinx is fine though. It's another target for Forge Master, and that's good. How about Zurin Orb? Okay. <laughs> I mean, what sure. do we want here instead of it? We can search it up with Forge Master. <laughs> sure. I'm going to take Big Garrick and stick him in the board here. Okay. We're not playing him, obviously, but... Burning, because we can't beat that again. No wildfire effects. We've told you people this stuff. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, this deck looks garbagey. Hey, but it's some of the most garbagey decks, the ones we do the best with. Sure. Come on now, that upheaval deck was pure shit. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. uh, Consecrated Sphinx seems good. All Steph Domination could be very powerful too. Swords is always good. Swords is always good. Sphinx is more good? I think Sphinx is more good. Which is not proper English, but you're a math person, so I guess yeah, I wouldn't expect you to. Right. It's probably more gooder in our deck. <laughs> now you're just trying. <laughs> is, it, is it the goodest card here? I think it's probably the goodest. <laughs> I'll take it. God. Click? Yeah, definitely. Uh Bizarre Mess Card Tangler, none of these are good. Click, click is good. Momentary blink click. You. How about Monastery Mentor? Is that good? Is mm, it better than Tassiger? Probably not better than Tassiger. Just looking at our numbers here, it's not better than Tassiger, actually. I think Tassiger is better. The I third don't know if we're could've... actually going to play this Forge Master. Well, we could have taken that third signet over Tassiger. Ooh, Metamorph is insane. I like Metamorph here. I think this Forge Master is probably going to get the cut, though. Yeah, maybe, but... I mean, I guess we'll it see. can sack some mana, fa uh, mana facts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. We'll sack, see. Sack some mana artifacts, throw out Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Get there-ish? Oh, how about that? Or that? I think that? it's actually thirst for knowledge. I think you're right. I don't need. We already have two big finishers. Yeah. I don't think we need another big finisher. Scholar would be great on the wheel, but I think thirst is more powerful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Scholar could wheel. Did yeah. Smash. Let's see. What wheels? Smash and Nature's Claim probably. Spear and spear and smash. Spear and smash. Yeah. Some garbage stuff. Hmm. It can be tutored up with uh, Tez. Turn Tez into Disc. I kind of like Disc. I kind of don't. I kind of like Glacial Fortress, actually. Yeah. I almost like Duress. I like Duress, too. And I don't think it's a killer on our mana because of Signets. I would say disc, but it just never seems to work. It's always so slow. It's just like right. infinitely slow. Let's and duress, duress, yeah, I think duress turns out to be very good. It's almost thoughtseize. Path seems great for us here. Yeah, kind of needed one of those. Yeah, just helps give you some protection for the early game. So all right, now I think we're doing. I think we're doing it. 
It's like one or two cards, and suddenly, hey, our deck went from being <laughs> shit to being decent. Weird. <laughs> it's kind of how it works, right? Mm, none of these. Triple white's hard, but if you play this and then momentary blanket. Sure, if you have 5,000 mana. Which we have. We don't have as much as we could, but. We'll take it. We're not playing it, hopefully. Other cards. We could cut Young Pyromancer or Savannah or Curtis. I think let's just cut Young Pyromancer. It's hard for us to deal with. If they get it online. Repeal? Yeah, repeal's perfect. Okay, definitely doing it. Hmm. Sure. Can always board it in. I don't think we want to actually play it. Probably not. We have better stuff to tinker for. Right. Tinkering, or I think our tinker targets are Lodestone Golem, Sphere, and Sphinx. Pretty much. So. Because load against like the right deck, you just want to tinker for lodestone golem and give them the middle finger and pass. Yeah, basically. they're playing. <laughs> they're playing storm. Whoops. We know just how well that goes. Well, there's your monastery mentor. Or is memory jar just busted? Tinker for that. Uh... This might just be better. Yeah. It's hard to say, really. I don't think we want jar. But I could definitely see bringing in Mentor. Yeah, against like an aggro -y deck, we want Mentor. We don't want a main board, but... Just cut the Vendrine. Yeah, because... Nope. We have Path oh. for Vendrine, and that's it. Yeah. So, the red cards and the spear. That's you what we expected. Right. You were right. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll take the spear and send the red cards back in. Oh, Weather Wayfair is great on them. It'd be great. And a Recruiter. <laughs> Alright. So, we gotta make... Four cuts. Mm -hmm. um, so which cards just straight aren't useful? Is Ashak actually going to be that good for us? It could be. Could be. What about Secure the Waste? I think Secure the Waste is kind of meh. Um, How good do you think Forge Master is going to be? How many artifacts? One, two, three... That we want to sack? Yeah, I think Forge Master. But he can sack himself, too. So, four potential artifacts that you want to sacrifice. I guess if you have Forge Master, you can sacrifice the Battle Sphere tokens and blink um, it with Venser or Momentary Blink, get new tokens. But yeah. I think you're already winning so hard at that point that it doesn't <laughs> even matter. I think you're winning too much. Um, so, I think cutting Forge Master is fine. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, we need to cut two more cards. Mm -hmm. mm, I think I think our black cards are just all good. Duress, Bitter Blossom, Ashiok, Sphinx. Tassiger. Yeah, I think those are all just really good. Do we want the double white on Cloud Goat Ranger? Alright, he's cuttable. Um, and if he's cuttable... Is Blink cuttable? No, Blink works really well. With Blink and Venser work well with Omen. Everything. Click. Manowar. Me Manowar, Metamorph. Metamorph, yeah. Planeswalkers. Battle Sphere. Yeah, those two are both really good in this deck. Blink actually. doesn't bounce Planeswalkers. Blink doesn't, but Venser does. Yeah. So, like, you can go Tezzeret minus get a Signet or something, Blink him, bring him back in. Well, yeah, that's kind of meh, actually, but there's not really very good artifacts for him to search up or untap. 5-5 five, five signets could be okay, though. He only does 5-5s five, five as his ultimate. And it's only Which happens in one turn. True. Uh, It's always a two-for-one. It searches up and then dies True. to a burn spell or something. I think it's fine. Okay. So we gotta make one more cut then. Oh, it's actually good to search up Golem too. If we didn't have Golem, I think we could cut. True, because we can search up Golem and Metamorph. I forgot about Metamorph. Thank yeah. You. Um, is Thirst for Knowledge going to be that good for us? I think probably it is. Probably. Maybe we could cut Duress. Maybe we cut Duress. It's a sideboard card, I think. 
Oh, there's also factory to search to tinker too. Yeah. And I guess Forge Master. Hmm. But I don't think Forge Master comes in though. I think he's a sideboard card. Is there anything else to the right there? Uh, over here, no. Okay. Our 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 deck just spans the entire scene. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is fine. It's kind of funny. It, like, curves out here, and then becomes a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's add some lands. This kind of looks like my student's greeting scale. Lots of twos. There's a 2.5, and there's, like, one four. But kind of scrawny, <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who are wondering what... One of my students, we do these evaluations every year, and one of my students wrote, what did he write? He's like, no weaknesses, but he's kind of scrawny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll submit with this, and we'll see you all in round five. <laughs>